we begin. All loud. Who's ready for some sewer surfing? My toe! My toe! What's your wolfing bug? We will get to, we're gonna get to 600 today. Because I, I've only got a limited amount of time before I've gotta get to my podcast. Get another, wait, did it not go up? I guess not, start prediction, we'll get a test of flags out of the stream, five minutes, start prediction, let's go. Chaos control. All hail shadow. I've slept, I'm refreshed, and we're back with another 50 attempts. Let's go. I like your name, Grimbo McFrimbo. Reminds me of Slambo McJambo. Nope. Didn't add the number. Nope. It's over 10 to 1 odds on this one. I'm looking for... Stage 1 of the TMNT arcade game. This is Hyperstone Heist? No, this is a um, uh, TMNT2 arcade. Rather just TMNT arcade. Stage one, yep. Really, I thought I had an old Genesis twang to it. So this is this is for the like specifically the arcade game. Uh, when they made the NES version of it, they obviously had to use a different sound font for it. I don't think arcade was ever on the Genesis.
Actually, this, actually, this doesn't sound like the arcade version. Bingo! Let's say a different version for the one they re-released on uh, on Xbox 360 and all that. Nope. You cannot disable animations in this game, no. <laughs> Next attempt to be a shiny, my gambling intuition tells me so. Alright, let's see. Uh, yeah, I'm a Big Apple 3 a Big Apple 3 a.m. Bingo! Hey, Charlie Celestia with the Elements here saying, I have Tom Guess who was on the road for two hours trying to get home because of bad traffic. Yay! Somber Mink with the 83 months of Tier 1 saying, T tip shiny pee pee, T tip shiny pee pee, T tip shiny pee pee. Oh, it's called Fairy! Hippie! Famous song, I've heard it all over, but I never know it's from Big Apple, 3 a.m. from uh, TMNT uh, Turtles in Time. Good mix that uh, someone made on Overclock Remix. And I want you to. What's the matter, Bug? Why you, why you hemming and hawing? And I want to see if y'all can figure out uh, what song this is. From Lulz A and Carbo Hydro M on Overclock Remix. Outside. Let me do this attempt, buddy, and then I'll let you out. Suffer. 
Anybody wager a guess? Yeah! Fortune Key X got it, and Alex Taylor got it. Don't sound like it at the beginning. Alright, I'm gonna let the dog outside. Not only did I not catch it, but it woke up. It's the Bending of the 91 months of tier one saying, huh, didn't realize I missed the 10th Twitch baby. Yeesh, what kind of Twitch parent am I? At least uh, I keep paying for child support, so that's, so that's, uh, there's that, I guess. Just a few months to eight years. Eight years. Eight years, like the amount of time uh, we bonk newcomers on Discord is a tradition that you didn't know. Indeed. Nope. And the, don't worry, the brain damage is temporary. All brain damage is temporary when it becomes permanent damage. What are the shiny eyes in this game? One in 8,192. Brain damage isn't forever, it's only until you're dead. Tidy up my workspace. I'll probably do that tonight before bed. Slizzard and Shroomhilda. If they gave me the option to put an umlaut over the U, I totally would have. Because now it just looks like Shroomhilda. You know if the shadows gain EVs? I don't know if they gain them normally. Because it would get them in the same vein as, like, uh, any other uh, Pokemon would. If, if they gain them in the same vein, like, as any other Pokemon would, or, or what have you. How do you determine Chinese in Colosseum? Let me get my dissertation ready. Hi, bud. Oh, easy question. Woo, easy question. <laughs> Little goofball. Oh, here he comes again. All right, bud. Always so high energy after his walk, huh? <laughs> oh, here he comes. Hey, easy, easy, big guy. Hey, come here. Oh, what? 
that crashed the game? Nope, we're, we're still good, apparently. I'm so sorry. It's all good. <laughs> come on, buddy. Come on, from under there. Good boy. Flying. Kristen's got a lot of energy after a, after a walk. Christian being my roommate's dog. So he, uh, he ran up here trying to engage and play with Manatee, got tangled around the cords uh, under my desk, and pulled pulled the entirety of my Wii off the uh, off the desk. Big, big zoomies. Everything seems to still be working though, so I think we're fine. Girls, we need pictures now. Pay us the dog tax. Well, no. <laughs> if I had the camera on. If I felt like being seen on camera, then you'd be able to see the dog. Unfortunately, that is not the case. Nope. Nope, not on 5.55. Are we going to get the devil? Alright, bud. He's doing a very no talk me I angie pose right now. Don't know what the song is called slash is from. Uh, this is Carrying the Weight of Life from Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Just did another one for fun. Like I got the um I already caught the jump fluff here. I think I caught every Pokemon in this area. What well, if I just caught one of the other Pokemon that was in this area and that turned out to be shiny? I'd be so mad. Do 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 do. Does he read YouTube? Does that answer your question? <laughs> I was seen! people do all the battle square mons each reset sort of like how you have to do all the battles before metagross so people hunt them together interesting good way to go about it i guess where is my master ball because he no cringe i'll think about that one one more time buddy Balls cringe. I'm getting mixed signals here.
That's about the yeah, I know I used it already. I used it on uh, T-Tar. Different ball make it easier or no change to getting a shot. There's no change. Uh, different balls just uh, it give different catch rates. Uh, I want to go for aesthetic flair, so I'm using a luxury ball. I thought I was using a luxury ball. I guess he used the dive ball. Nope. Oh no, wait. I, right, I do the. I'm doing the infinite ball trick. This is the most decorated Quagsire, so it sh it sh shouldn't the ball reflect that? Caught Evis' T-Tar as a shiny? <laughs> no! I caught it in the Master Ball. I just forgot to use uh, the, uh, the Infinite Ball glitch. Oh no, I already used my Master Ball in Emerald. Heal ball existed in this generation. They actually reduced the amount of Pokeballs, uh, the ty different types of Pokeballs in this game compared to uh, Gold and Silver. Because you had like all the uh, the Apricorn Pokeballs in uh, in that one. So you had the basic Pokeball, Great Ball, Ultra Ball, and Master Ball, but you also had the Level Ball, Friend Ball, Lure Ball, Moon Ball, Heavy Ball, Fast Ball, and Love Ball. Totaling in at 11 Pokeballs. Let me see. And then for balls, let me see what do we got. Thought they. Here we go. Oh, maybe, maybe not. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Oh, they're the same amount. The dive ball, the luxury ball, the nest ball, the net ball, the premier, uh, premier ball, the repeat ball, the safari ball, the timer ball uh, are all new in that one. But they got rid of all the, uh, the uh, apricorn balls from the second generation. Quick Ball was not in Gen 3, either. Safari Ball was in Gen 1. It wasn't in... I don't think it was in Gen 2, though. Because there wasn't a Safari Zone. I don't know if it gave it a different flair when you sent something out. I mean, they didn't... I don't think they recorded what ball a Pokémon was in in the first generation of Pokémon. Oh, well, actually... If you have the 3DS version, you transfer it up. Does it does it retain that Pokeball? They're all in Pokeballs. Gen 2 also had the game ball or the, the, the park ball as well, so probably the same amount of Pokeballs. Gen 1 or 2 did all VC or Pokeball. That's unfortunate. Yeah, so Gen 3 had the same amount of if, if we're counting the uh the um Sport Ball. Then uh, Gen Three had the uh, the same amount of Pokeballs as the um, as uh, Gen Two, but different kinds of Pokeballs, rather. Nope. <laughs> Legends Arceus has 10 new balls, which count for a quarter of them. That's the... I forgot what all of them were called. Let me actually look up the Legends Arceus Pokeballs. Bingo! No, not Poke Nalls.
Origin Ball, the Strange Ball. The Winged Jet and Feather Ball. Would you consider the Heavy Ball a new Pokeball for Legends Arceus? I guess it functions uh, differently than it does in other Pokemon games. Just in name only does it share it with the uh, the, with the Apricorn Heavy Ball. They're all stored as different balls at home. Interesting. I threw a ball as my first move. I've done that before by mistake. Okay, well, I guess that works. Going from one podcast to another. I wouldn't call this a podcast, really. I guess it kind of is. <laughs> Theoretically. You know, in theory, we could just, uh, we could do the entire stream from here. <laughs> Would you even be able to see the- yeah, you'd be able to see if it was, uh, shiny or not. Nope. But I'd rather give the game its, uh, its, uh, its, its due. Also, every time I do this, I have to change my positioning on the, uh, on the 4x3. And go over to disc only, they're playing XD instead. Cosmic Demon Thunderbit saying, cannot see dog, dog need VTuber. Uh, Kyler76 with the 75 months of tier 1. Sanriku P with the 2 months of Prime. Thank you very much for that. Remember that horrible design flaw with the Xbox 360 where if like, if you bumped it while it was on its side and reading a disc, it would make a giant scratch around the entire radius of the disc. If you don't remember that, that's because you probably didn't work at GameStop. <laughs> that was the thing? Yeah, in the first generation X uh, Xbox 360s. Did that a lot. What if I just kept shiny hunting throughout disc only? I wouldn't want to do that because we're having a guess. I wouldn't want to do that normally. Is the guest a shiny Quagsire? <laughs> if I catch the Quagsire, we boot Alex off of the guest spot and just put my Quagsire in there. Tom, it can't talk! Why are you- Why are you doing this? You know this is a horrible idea, right? I don't care! I don't care! It must scream and so must I. Mizuki Celestine with the 18 months of Prime. It's like Tom Pop, Tom Pop, Tom Pop. I don't know if I got San Riku P's two months of Prime, but there you go. Uh, bum, bum. Nope. I have no scream and I must mouth. I need to get a choice band for my Metagross in, uh, in... Actually, can you get a choice band? Can you get a choice band with Poke Coupons in this game? Or an XD? In this game or XD? Because I might just start doing Battle Bingo again to, uh, to gain what I need for that. 
It's 64 BP in the battle frontier. I think, and, and like, if I have a flawless run, I'll be done with it. Uh, uh, I'd be done with it before I even got the, uh, the, the, the choice band. The number more coupons you get in this game are ass. Yeah, that's why I was gonna switch over to XD to do it, because Battle Bingo is much, much better. 10k Pokemons, 10k Poke Coupons and Kahlo 8k and XD. Wow, that's, that's, that's only three attempts at Battle Bingo for me. I could knock that out in like, uh, in less than an hour, I'd say. 40 minutes. You also be getting coupons for running about battle. The problem is, in order to get the ribbon, I'm pretty sure uh, the Quagsire's gotta be in the party the entire time, and I can't switch any party members out. They're very low-level opponents. Yeah, just quagging today. If you get the Quagsire, I've got to name it Alex now for the bit. I'll, nope. I'll name it Kane. Or Spampton. Or Donkey Kong. Are they trying to be a boy or a girl? I'm not picky. It was only in Gen 2 that gender really determined, uh, uh, really had any, well, quote-unquote gender had an effect on stats. A donkey quag! Classic quag team. You guys ever seen, um... Oh god, what the heck are they called? Nigel and Marmalade? It's like a bunch of these like animated YouTube shorts that do, use like this very uh like very grotesque and, and wild uh, uh um art style for them. This beaver is talking about is uh, singing about something. <laughs> and he's like it's a beaver singing about how his teeth are all floppy because he can't so he can't chew on wood? <laughs> useless, Nibbles! Useless! Bingo! He's like singing out loud, he's like, No one can know that my teeth are, are flaccid and floppy. And then they're like, <laughs> they come and they're like, hello, stranger, and he goes, OH SHIT! Yeah, they're from a YouTuber called, they're, they're, they're funny, I, I like them a lot. I think my, my favorite character is, uh, is, uh, in, there's only really been like, like, aside from the main characters Nigel and Marmalade, there's only been like two or three other recurring characters. My favorite character is Patricia. She's like this quadrupedal thing with like a long nose, and she's got she speaks in like a like a very like nope, like kind and and proper manner, but she's like consistently uh, robbing and killing people. Oh, you know, I've been thieving again. Patricia, you can't go around stabbing people. It's very rude, but I enjoy doing it. 
Now who wants a nice cuppa? <laughs> you didn't get my amulet of infinite insanity. Oh, that is a lovely amulet. Takes a knife and stabs him. The one with the muscle, which is pretty funny, too. Rather, it's another one of my favorites. <laughs> she keeps flicking me Adam's apple! It's, ver it's very irresistibly flickable. This, here we go, this is the theme of, when, when Patricia comes to town, this is the theme that plays. This is good, but I like the M, uh, the Moby's Battle M version better. Hold with the flutes. Alright, it's Consul P. And all the birds, every single time there's a bird in Nigel and Marmalade, it's always like the, the biggest jerk. It's great. My favorite Mobius theme is from Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh, sorry, is Moby's owned by Ken Penders? Is that the planet? Yes. Nope. Over on Sat AM. It's probably Dick Entertainment. Kevin the Demon Fox, yeah, that was pretty funny. I seem to be, I seem to be being carried away by this balloon, Nigel. I'm having a panic attack. Do you deny those ways? Something along those lines.
It's like the one where the guy's trying to walk his demonic dog. So Nigel expands his brain so that way he can, uh, he can talk better. Just grows like a small lump out of his head and he goes, I'm just feeling homesick! I want to go for walkies in the underworld! Nope. So Nigel opens the portal for them. It's like, yeah, let's go for walkies. And the guy with the dog is like, am I going to be able to survive in there? I'm sorry, will I die if I go in there? Whee! Would you like to stay for our uh, for our meat lump lump supper? Meat lump. Meat lump. That one's probably my favorite. I love the way he has the demon say meat lump. Xenoblade Two had the difficulty slider. I think uh, I think Xenoblade One Definitive Edition had it too. <laughs> It's all about practice. It's all about practice, exercises, and like, and maybe a little bit of tutoring. Plenty of uh, plenty of voice actors give um, like uh, online seminars, like classes. Just keep your uh, keep your eyes out for them. They'll uh, they'll uh, they'll like pop up. You can sign up for them. I do think they cost money though. Although the only ones I really know or see uh, is um, uh, Chris Rager, the uh, the voice of uh, Mr. Satan does um, does voiceover seminars. I don't know if Christina V does uh, voiceover seminars. Nope. Speaking of voice acting, why are you so good at voices? I uh, just like. When I was younger, like, I would try to imitate, a, a, like, every voice I heard, much to my immediate family's chagrin. Um, and I did, uh, I did, like, a, uh, uh, stage, uh, I did theater as well to get a, to get a, a taste for acting. Which, you know, may or may not have translated over okay when I started doing machinima. My name is Quibble Norris, and I've been on top of your roof for three years. I paid a bird to fly me to a TV studio to make me a star, but he thought it would be funnier to drop me on this roof. Oh, there he is over there! <laughs> Find you playing a great Gaston. Great Gaston or a great Gatsby? Truly was the greatest Gatsby. No, I am um, in, um... In high school, I had the opportunity to play Gaston uh, because we were doing Beauty and the Beasts, and we were doing a um, a rotating cast for like the main cast. So like one night would be a group of people playing the main cast, and another night would be another group of people. It'd be, it'd be two casts doing that. Um, but I I valued uh, I was taking uh, I was doing fencing at the time too. And all my friends were doing fencing, so I valued spending time with my friends over over the theater.
So I, uh, I uh, opted to be an extra instead. Guys, I don't know how to tell you this, but it's double spinning edge time. Double spinning edge, yeah. The double spinning edge, yeah. The double spinning edge, yeah. The double spinning, double spinning edge. Double spinning edge, yeah. The double spinning edge, yeah. The double spinning edge, yeah. The double spinning edge. Double spinning edge. Double spinning edge. Nope. Double spinning edge. Double spinning edge. Double spin. Double spinning edge, double spinning edge, double spinning, double spinning edge, double spinning, double spinning, double spinning edge, spinning edge, double spinning, double spinning edge. Xenoblade Chronicles 3, but Rex is a helicopter. I'll use my thinking muscles for this one! Yippee! Can we replace the y- <laughs> I, I, want, I either want to replace it or have to be a chance that the uh, the loot bug in uh, in Lethal Company uses. Um, I can't think of her name. Her yippee, you know the you know what I'm talking about. No, Mio Senna, thank you. Edge double spinning, edge double spinning, double spinning, edge double spinning. I'm the girl with the gall. Lonberry, thank you for the 32 months of Prime Gaming. Yeah, Uni's the boss. I love, I, I love Uni's actress's like delivery as Uni. It's so good. I love her, I love her sly smug delivery. He's such a gremlin, I love it. Yep. Nope. I'll hit him, and then I'll hit him again. Fall might have done more damage to the Wii than I thought.
It didn't crash, it just powered down as though like somebody unplugged it. Oh, I... God. <laughs> okay, yeah, that did... <laughs> the song skipped and I was very confused. It's still plugged in solidly. Now you must acquire a taste for freeform jazz. You know what this song is? It's fire. The disc is fine. It's just that the uh, the console keeps like shutting off as though it's losing power. So you know how like when a Wii normally shuts off, it'll have like the standby light on that'll be either like yellow or red. When it shuts down from this, it just like goes black. There's like no light whatsoever. There's no power going to it. Console overheating? No, it's suffering a concussion. kills me is that potentially that like any of the quags that we've encountered so far could have been the one 
And then the power just goes out. <laughs> I think my Wii is foobard. Thank you for the raid, Reese. How'd the infinite fusion go? One second, I'm gonna try something. I'll let the countermeasures go in the meantime. What have you done? I'm gonna try standing it upright and see if the, that like, cause it, the, the, the system feels kind of hot. So I'm gonna stand it upright and see if that helps with the ventilation. See if that helps with any of it. I also unplugged it and let it set for a, for a few seconds. So maybe like that helped out as well. Probably help if I plug my controller in. What's the plan for Food Bar tonight? I stop streaming. <laughs> Not much else I can do. I can't do any of the Game Boy uh, advancement stuff because I don't have, um, I don't have the, um, I don't, my GameCube isn't back yet. If I get my GameCube back, that'd be a good, you know, replacement for what happened with the Wii. Well, I have a Game Boy player. You do GBA stuff with the well. That's the thing. I need the I need the GameCube, so that way I can show off my like the Game Boy Advance stuff because I do have to do stuff on the Game Boy Advance games. Because remember, this isn't just shiny hunting for the Quagsar, it's also turning it into a, uh, into a Ribbon Master. 
So I've got other tasks that I do across other Pokemon games. No, it doesn't have to go through every Battle Frontier mode. Uh, it just needs to... I just need to beat, um, level 50 mode and open battle mode in the Battle Tower for it to get the ribbon. And it doesn't even have to go through, it doesn't even have to go through the streak of 50, it just has to be in the party when I hit the 50th streak or above. And beat those seven matches. It's a little bit worse as you go on. I think Generation 4 probably has the most, uh... Uh, the most, um, uh, demanding of the Battle Frontier... ...modes. Nope. Alright, letting it stay unplugged for, like, a minute and standing it upright seems to have helped. Gen 3 and 4 contest room and get combined. Uh, yeah, they get combined, uh, afterwards, but there's also two different varieties of them. Oh, uh, there's like a, there's a silver one and a gold one. The gold one is what I'm after. Because the gold one shows that you did every single contest with that Pokemon. When is Pokemon Bank supposed to stop working? The 3DS and Wii U online services all go down on, uh, April 8th, except for Pokemon Bank and Pokemon Transfer, which do not have, uh, dates, uh, closing dates yet. Well, plus I couldn't, I, I can't really, I can't very well get a uh, ribbon for my Pokemon using the Battle Factory because they don't participate in it. I hope they give us as much advanced time on it as they did for the 3DS and Wii U ones going down. Because if it turns... Because... Because <laughs> my goal is once they announce the dates, is to start using RNG manipulation to get uh, the shiny Quagsire. And if, you know, if they announce it like... The day before it's supposed to... Then I'm never gonna be able to... It would be... It would just be like a marathon at that point. Like, I'd have to just be like, go, 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 go. You know what the other thing, too, is that's a little bit worrying. Let's say I get the shiny Quagsire. There's the risk that this thing shuts off before I'm able to save. What's been, uh, what's been, those of you who came from Lukagen's stream, what's been her favorite, um, her favorite, uh, fusion so far? So many. Hi, Reese. Why did it shut off? I'm out of the loop. Hyperactive dog ran through here, got tangled in cords. We fell off of desk. We worked for a little while and suddenly started shutting off on its own. Uh, 
like how people are just saying, like, mom, and it's like, I have no context with that. I have no idea what Pokemon those are. And you're just, uh, and you're just out here like, you know, oh, I'm going to say this name and expect you to know. You have a spare Wii? Nope. And even when I ask for details on mom, I get two different answers. Wigglytuff and Kangaskhan, okay. Who's, whose emote is that? Who, who's Ru, whose Rui emote is that? Where, <laughs> where they spherize her face? Oh my god. <laughs> Who wins? <laughs> Wait, hold on. <laughs> Hang on a second. Yeah, who wins in a fight, Sphere Eyes Rui or Close Up Jovi? He called her Moisty. <laughs> Why did they do that up close shot of Jovi in uh in uh XD? Nope. Unfortunately, we did not get it on the 569th, but there's always 669. He said Rui is an unfinished clone of Misty, so he named her Moisty. Oh my god. That's good. Don't worry, because I'm here to save video games! Darn, we lost the upper hand! It was Finch. Finch was probably one of my favorite blades in Xenoblade Chronicles 2. She could never get any anybody's name right. And she ended up being Queen of the Tyrkin. Let's show him a thing or three. Nope. So here's the thing. If that was the shiny, I wouldn't have had enough time to save it.
I'm gonna let it sit unplugged for a little while. Dude, use your GameCube, your Wii's bone. My GameCube is in the repair shop. Could you use the Wii U for this? Uh... Wii U does not read... The Wii U cannot... Uh, I can't put a GameCube game in the Wii U and have it read it. Did I say that right? Which repair shop was it sent to? You don't need to know that. At the forecast channel. I don't think the fans are spinning. You know when your GameCube will be fixed? Nope, because they're having trouble, like, it's not reading discs, and apparently it has to do with, like, some kind of battery in there and some sort of calibration with the, with, like, the, the lens and the laser. And they're having trouble, like, they're having trouble getting it to work. Got a spare box fan? I do not have a box fan in general. I can grab something out of the freezer and just and just like place the place the Wii on it. Would that work? <laughs> Got a fan in general? No. So it seems like it's, uh, it's... Nope. So I'm probably just gonna go to 575 and then stop. You have a tri-wing screwdriver? Yes. 
but I do not, I do not have uh, knowledge of electrical systems. So if something was not knocked loose and needs soldering, I can't do it. Keep it uh, suspended in the air. Maybe the exposure to just the air will be enough to. I'm holding. I'm, I'm holding it in my hand right now. This is a GameCube game, so uh, game data is saved on the GameCube memory cards. Fan is accessible without having to remove the metal shield. Where are the screws on this thing? Probably under like the the feet, right? Under the rubber feet. And that yeah, there it goes. And I didn't even start recording these attempts, so there's two attempts on this that we didn't have. But they'll show the third one and beyond. <laughs> Dang it. If you're watching this VOD on YouTube later. Nope. You probably noticed that this VOD is combined with the last VOD. Because the last VOD was cut short and this is going to be a fairly short VOD as well. We're just getting to 600. It's 
I've even been thinking about as a new D&D &D character. I want to try making an enchanter and have them not be the worst person ever. Because <laughs> let's be real. An enchanter's whole thing is about, is about like mental manipulation. The challenge is to try to make them a, a halfway decent person. Remind me why it's this particular game you have to get it because there is because I want to do a ribbon master and there's a ribbon for purifying a shadow Pokemon. If Quagsire was not in Pokemon Coliseum, that I would not be hunting in this game. Dancing like she's never danced before. She's a maniac, maniac on the floor. And she's dancing like she's never danced before. Nope. Fun doing any more po Dokapon streams? I want to do story mode, but it's so hard to get like th to get three other people who want to play like for for that long. <laughs> Attention spans are show, so short, I can't imagine people would want to stick with this for the months it would take to beat! <laughs> I've got one, yeah, I, uh, John did play, did play chicken with me on that one. Dokapon's a, Dokapon is the same commitment as a D&D campaign. Can't you feel my heart beat fast? I want this to last with you by my side. Find a way to blackmail chilled into it. There is blackmail in the game. He would never want to. He told me he doesn't want, want to play Fortune Street again because he doesn't want, like, backseaters in the comments, so... And with Dokapon, I can't imagine the amount of backseaters there'd be for that. For not choosing the optimal strategies when they never played before. How many players is Dokapon? Four. This is Among Us? It shouldn't. Oh, it does. You're right. I'm not bothering to change the thumbnail. We're able to fix the Wii. This is a different Wii. I couldn't get the screws off of the one in order to access the fan. Are, uh, are Nags, uh, Nags, Chibi, Ray, and, uh, Matt still doing it, uh, still doing story mode regularly? Nope. I didn't ask you, Dell. I don't think you watch their streams. Planning on just waiting a while? Gotcha. Say a I'd say Enchanter is probably the hardest one to make into a, into a good guy. Necromancy, there's plenty of good applications of necromancy, like preparing bodies for uh, for last rites. Illusionist isn't like necessarily like like that bad. It's just that they're like they warp reality in a way. 
Enchanters are just direct, uh, Enchanter is basically just direct mind control. Players join a campaign midway in D&D or Dokapon. In Dokapon, I'm not sure. They'd probably just be taking the place of somebody who, who left. The zoom in on the girl's face gets me every time. Yeah. That's, uh... What? Who is that one streamer? That's Moisty for you. <laughs> I'm adopting that. Failed clone of Misty Moisty. so upset that in Baldur's Gate 3 there's no sp special dialogue with the uh, the Myconids if you're a, a Circle of the Spore Druid. No, it's not Lucas joke. Somebody had an emote of, uh, of Rui with like they basically just like spherized Rui's face and the, and the the emote was called Moisty but I don't remember what the streamer was. Who'd you flirt with in Baldur's Gate? Start off with Shadowheart, uh, not knowing that Carlac was uh, was an option. Nope. Then quickly switch to Carlac. Jabroni Mike. That's who it was. the Baldur's Gate girls like that that can join your party Shadowheart, Karlak, Lazel, Minthara. Is there any other ones? I feel like I'm forgetting one. <laughs> I knew what someone was gonna say Astarian. Jahira? Is she is she a, could she be a party member? I'm talking about people you can... I'm, I'm talking about, like, romance options. Interesting. Either way, Karlak is at the top of my list. Shadard B number two. Uh, I don't have a ranking from Minthara because I don't have any, um... Because I haven't, like, interacted with Minthara enough. And then Lyzel's at the bottom. <laughs> I love the one clip that uh, Samantha ba uh, Bayard did. I hate it here. I want to go to Build-A-Bear. I mean, like, the muscles are a bonus, but I like Carlac because she's positive, you know? Nope. Like, she looks she looks on the bright side of things. I also imagine that she'd probably really like food. Like, I'd, like, really appreciate good food. Bingo! Kurgan off with 104 months of tier one and Ninja Kitten 2869 with the 14 months of tier one saying 14 months. It's been great being subbed to you, Tom.
Like if I was sitting, <laughs> here's how I imagine like Karlak would get things done. Let's say I'm just like sitting at my computer sad. And yeah, let's say, let's say we did have it a relate. we happen to be like in that kind of relationship where we're living together. And Karlak saw that, she would come in, hoist me up over one shoulder and say, and be like, we're going to McDonald's. <laughs> Or something along those lines. Just, we are going to get some good food. <laughs> like either like comfort food or good food, like whatever. We're getting food. We are getting food that's either just going to be like, I want to eat this because it is, it is delicious in either a, like a, a hot couture way or a, I just need some, some junk food way. What are you doing, Airbug? YouTube is the Among Us logo. I I'm not changing it. It should still say I'm doing a bit of shiny hunting, but I'm not changing the logo. We're also not going to be doing this for very long. Artist, thank you for 47 months of tier one saying, time to lend some luck energy, hopefully. I don't know how you can think Domino's is overrated when it's like, when it's basically like the, the McDonald's of pizza. Are you talking about just in the way that like it's everywhere and everybody orders it? Cause it's not great pizza. style of pizza that uh that pizza hut does it's not deep dish right no deep dish is like chicago style that's what little caesars does they do dom uh pizza does pan pizza right because that's not it's not the same as what domino's usually does I'm trying to think of like the, the differences in the, okay, so hand tossed is the other kind of pizza. What are your thoughts on Sparrow? I haven't had Sparrow in a while. Domino's have tried, well, they have, they, I know Domino's does have a pan style pizza. Nope. Whether it's uh whether it's better than Pizza Hut's or not is up in the air. I, I mean with all with all things, it's a matter of taste. Mellow mushroom is good. I can't think of any pizza I've had where I where like 
I mean, like when I was younger and pickier, whenever we'd have like a DiGiorno that have like the olives and the peppers and everything on that, I'd be a little bit picky about that. But in my adult time, I can't think of a pizza that's ever been presented to me where I'll be like, I refuse to eat that. Unless I was like sick or wasn't hungry. Like, if you put something that, like, vaguely resembles pizza in front of me, and it's, like, enough to, like, they're, they're, like, I'm wondering what the, what the lower limit of, like, of pizza is. Because, like, here's the thing, there's, like, it, it, does, it just needs, it needs three basic ingredients, right? It needs sauce, it needs a crust, and it needs cheese. And that sauce doesn't have to be red, because there are white sauce pizzas as well. What of a pizza with mold on it? Okay, so like, if it's presented to me as like, as a pizza, you know? And it's not like, oh, I dig this out of the trash, or oh, this is like, I, I here here's my pizza and it's like a salad. Thoughts, pineapple? Delicious. Love pineapple on pizza. I like anchovies on pizza. That's like that, that stereo, it's, it's that stereotypical, like, like, ingredient that everyone's like, oh, anchovies, ugh. It's very salty and a little bit bitter, so I can see why people don't like it, but I've enjoyed it. Dries you out quickly, though, because it is very salty. Big bowl of sauerkraut every morning. Nope. Place I used to go to in Connecticut called um, Da Vinci Pizza. I've talked about this uh, this uh, this um, company before, or this uh, this pizzeria before. It was owned by one guy, and there were like he had six stores throughout Connecticut. Um, and when he uh, when he passed away, he gave one restaurant to each of his kids. So now each of them kind of runs their own restaurant as their own individual thing, but still, all of them are still under the Da Vinci name. Um, the one, there were two pizzas there that were very, uh, were very uh, unique. One was a baked potato pizza, where it had slices of potato, uh, sour cream, bacon, and like a, like a couple other things you'd put on like a baked potato on the pizza. That was really good. And then the other one, which I thought was really unique because all was missing was like it it honestly could have been like like a gradient sandwich from pizza to burger which is a cheeseburger pizza where from the bottom layer to the top it was um pizza crust pizza sauce mozzarella cheese slices of um of america uh, uh, slices of american cheese and dollops of ketchup on the, each of the um on each of the uh, the the uh, slices of cheese if it had like buns on top of them it'd be a really like interesting like gradient from pizza to burger scouter Iki, thank you for the three months of tier one saying hi hi there are pickles on pizza two people just said pickles on pizza i guess the cheeseburger thing kind of plays into that um, no, I never had pickles on pizza. Ever bought a pizza from Aldi's? I don't know if there's any Aldi's in Austin. Are you Tom? I am Tom. Taco pizza is also good pizza. Never had taco pizza, but that does sound interesting. Is it made with the, with like the, I guess, uh, I guess it could be made with a variety of things. You can theoretically put anything on a pizza. I think the 1980s TM and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles kind of uh, gave us that. Because they're talking about like, oh dude, why, what if we got like a pizza with marshmallows on it? You put tomato soup on a pizza? I feel like it'd be very runny depending on how condensed you put it on there. Nope. I mean, dessert pizzas are pretty neat. Cake is closer to a lasagna. 
<laughs> what was there was a thing at Rooster Teeth for a while on the podcast where they were having like an argument over if you put a lasagna on top of another lasagna, is it just one lasagna? You see the trail from the Knuckles show? I did! It looks fun! <laughs> I'm curious at how the human characters are gonna play into it, because Notoriously, in any of the the cinematic Sonic the Hedgehog world, the humans take up way too much screen time and are the least interesting. Can't wait to see uh, Maria get shot, though. You know, for the kids. Especially if they end up going over her neurological version of AIDS. For the kids! For the kids! Yeah, you didn't know the reason Shadow was created is because is because Maria has essentially the sonic version of AIDS. Explain the instruction manual of Shadow the Hedgehog. <laughs> nope. <laughs> if they do end up like like showing some semblance of Maria getting shot and just all the Sonic fans go nuts, and every non-Sonic fan is like, what the fuck? Yep, neuroimmune deficiency syndrome, NIDS. That's uh, that's the uh, the disease that uh, that that Maria has. I think someone. What was that one meme? It was like that one meme template of like all the people in the bar watching TV, and then when like somebody, I th they must be watching a soccer match. Like someone scores a goal, they just go nuts. They did that, but the scene from Shadow the Hedgehog where the gun soldier shoots Maria. Where he gets shot, it's like that scene from Smiling Friends where everyone goes nuts for Mr. Frog. If they just rehash this, the plot from Sonic Adventure 2 in that one, just with Jim Carrey as egg. Oh, they would have to introduce Rouge. Oh, they would have to introduce Rouge. They would listen. They would 100% tone her down. 100%. There is no ifs, ands, or buts about that. They would 100% tone her down. Although I doubt they'd introduce Rouge before they uh, introduce Amy. I wanna make sure this is a reasonably length version of Battle Torna, not like a, you know, 30 minute one extended version. I like my women like I like Rouge in Sonic Adventure 2. No neck and one giant boob. Nope.
Uniboob. You think those are Knuckles' hands? Like he's got the Unifinger? God. The, uh... The Sonic dub. <laughs> the Sonic uh, Adventure 2 dub where Rouge throws him the Emerald Shards. Weed! Or Alfred predicting that the moon, or, uh, no, Alfred predicted that Eggman was going to blow up the island and he didn't, he never played the game, so he didn't know. I don't think Ken Penders owns the Sad AM characters, so I'm wondering if they could bring back like Sally and Antoine and all them and Bunny. And Scooter. How many times have we had to green light the phrase, I'm going to kill you in chat? Cause it's been, it's been quotes. Every time someone has said, I'm going to kill you in chat, it's been a quote. It's been like three times I looked up at chat and I see, I'm gonna kill you, accept or deny this. I don't think y'all could see it, but I, I could. It's just, it's just wild that, that, that that's happened so many times. Welcome to Tilted Towers. <laughs> Welcome to Funland, Sonic. That's concerning. Well, it's never been like directed at anybody. It's always just been like a quote to something. Someone saying, I'm going to kill you. I'm not a gamer. Maybe they'll respect me. Nope. That just makes you a beta cuck. Frickin' Chase is so funny. Thank you for the 20 gifted tier one subs. Super generous, I appreciate that greatly. I learned recently that the comic shadow has a biological brother. Yeah, the bio lizard. You know somebody, somebody out there has made their Sonic OC and tried to be as edgy as possible, 
and name their character Fuck. Not realizing the implication that goes along with that. Guys, I want to introduce you to my OC, Fuck the Hedgehog. Nope. <laughs> Ow, the edge. There's a whole line of fuck Sonic characters. Fuck the Echidna, fuck the Fox, fuck the Bat. Tom, one day there'll be an eight foot tall woman who picks you up and says, we're married now. <laughs> Wildfire, I like that one. A rooster character named Suck. Suck the cock. There's actually art of suck the cock. That's funny. Needs feed and seed, formerly Chucks. Jump the shark. Bingo! Man, there's not as good a one as Suck the Cock. The best one I can come up with is Bone the Beaver. Spank the monkey. Nope. Tom, can you hold this basketball? Just totally not the talent stealing basketball from Space Jam. Uh, Del, what do you think? Nope. Yeah, I didn't think so either. I think that was a flash game. My parents were cruel and named me Pet. So now I'm Pet the Dog. Bingo! Gasper Stoneager with the 63 months of Tier 1. Thank you very much. And Demon Keys with the 46 months of Tier 1. Na, 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 na. Na, 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 na. Swat the Fly is really good. All those Sonic characters would just be the pun patrol. We got 12 of these left to do. Tread the snake. 
Good lord. Wait, direct one? So on this Wii I have, it's a this is a really old Wii. Uh, and it wasn't uh, and it wasn't like uh, like wiped or anything. So the um, all of the the channels on it are still there, including one from like a 2011 Nintendo Direct. I don't know if it was a video, if it's a video or not. Nope. Dell seems to know. Were there any WiiWare or VC games on it? All WiiWare. I don't think there were any VC games. Or no, I'm sorry, all VC games. I don't think there were <gasps> any WiiWare games on it, though. I will tell you, though, this uh, this this console struggles to take discs. I'm not saying by reading them. I'm talking about, like, the, the mechanism in which the disc goes into the system. Which VC games? There were a lot. Skin, you have to be gentle with it. I know, I know. But I put it in, it's like. When did Side Order come out? Twenty eighth. We've got something going on that day. Oh yeah, I've got my, I've got my car, I've got my, uh, my mechanic appointment for my car. Because I hit a down construction sign and the, and part of the mirror came off. Well, the mirror broke, and then a chunk of the, of the, uh, of the thing that holds the mirror came off. Oh, it's on the 22nd. Okay. Have you watched Hasbin Hotel? I've only watched the pilot in the first episode. Can't remember the actor's name, but great song by the guy who played Adam. I know he was on uh, the Broadway production of Beetlejuice as Beetlejuice. Nope. Alex Brightman, there we go. Honestly, he sounds like the guy who played, uh... God, what the hell is the name? He kind of sounds like the actor who played Control Freak in Teen Titans. I don't think they're the same actor, though. If you ever met with that Kane VA guy? Yeah, you know, I think I was on a podcast with him recently. No, Alex is cool. See that the Wii's functioning again? Different Wii. I love the one tweet from the Small Butera or the Small Boo Studio Twitter account. It's like, if I had a nickel for every time I had to animate a um, uh, sassy uh, Keith David playing uh, Keith David, what was it? For every time I had to animate a musical Keith David as a furry, I'd have two nickels.
I don't know what the other one is, but I just find it funny. I don't think it was- I don't think it was in Hasbin Hotel, but either way. <laughs> to IMDB! You're gonna have to match up what, uh, what, um... Alex and Lindsay Small Butera animated on that Keith David was in. Nope. I got I got introduced to the wonders of the meatball man. In uh in little uh little runmo. Oh god, yeah, the meatball man. And the song that's made entirely of well, not entirely of screams. The the waltz of the meatball man is like the funniest song to go along with that. And the meatball man's face is just Gordon Ramsay with the eyes switched. I want to play the waltz of the meatball man. Wait, you don't like Waltz with the Meatball Man? What is this based on? It's an original song! From, uh, Gooseworks' Little Runmo. An animation, uh, an animation she did before, uh, before The Amazing Digital Circus. Which the Amazing Digital Circus does have a reference to Little Runmo in it. Nope. This is a uh, Great Cat's Village R from Melty Blood Type Lumina, aka Neko Arc's theme. But in ya Someone actually Yeah, I saw I saw somebody did a speed run of the uh, little runmo game. And it's like based, it's based very closely on the animation. Oh, 
I like the Meatball Man song better. <laughs> One of my recommended videos is the Young Justice Season 3 Crash Course, and the thumbnail for it is just Cyborg screaming in pain. Play an offshoot of Bad Apple. Uh, the last time I played Bad Apple, it got claimed. Even like a cover of it got claimed. Nope. Tunic, thank you for the five gifted tier one subs. Very cool of you. Right, bang! Thank you for gifting a tier one sub to the Meatball Man. Hey, bye. Hey, what are you doing? I'm almost done. Good boy. Good boy. My toe! My toe! Oh, shell shot! My favorite so at PAX every year they always move like the classic console section to be like either they they, they always they keep moving the, the console and classic console section further and further out of the way to the point that one year I went it was it was in um it was in a different hotel I remember uh I remember uh John and I uh played um Nope. I remember John and I played through uh, through Turtles in Time in the, in the one that was in the different hotel at PAX West. I think we played through Turtles. No, we played through the arcade game. We played through TMNT 2. That was fun. I remember the other year when I took Star Fox out and Tim and I were just sitting, sitting around. That was one of my favorite PAX memories is um, when I took out uh, Star Fox 64 to play on the uh, the console there, and Tim and I were just quoting it as the lines were coming up.
Bingo! It's right for the shopkeeper. King Monty, think about the 25 months to tier one saying, my toe, my toe. Five more. Five more for it tonight. Was Waltz the Meatball Man played on stream? Yes, it was, Trisman. I know how a meatball feels. What are the lyrics to this song? Uh, 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 They said now is where the resets. I said until we got to 600. Yeah, it's from Lethal League. Nope. From musician and noted Family Guy fan Hideki Naganuma. His his profile picture, I don't know if it's still this, but it was a it was like a it was like a yellow circle with like a profile of him. For a while, he had the profile of him replaced with the profile of Peter Griffin. Follow him on Twitter. He would he retweeted like he would retweet a bunch of Family Guy clips. And plus, he did that thing with his profile picture I told you about. He had an Among Us profile picture a while back. I didn't know that. That's funny. That's right. That's right. He has a thing for Lois. Tom has a funky beat. Give me, 
Funky fresh beats. Funky fresh beats. Funky fresh beats. Funky fresh beats. I'm loving it. On the one, two, three, four. You're Tom. I'm Tom. Hey, Raining. Seems today that all you see is funky fresh beats on the TV. Funky fresh beats. 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 Ain't nothing like a funky beat. Nope. I think about the, anytime I think about this song, I think about that one image where it's where it's like Penny dancing like nuts, and just like the player character and uh, and Nimona dancing like kind of like bobbing up and down in the background while Clavel is twerking. Because Clavel is with it, as the kids say. God, I, there's one comic I saw where it's like... The main character goes into Clavel's office. And uh, Clavel's like, oh, what, you know, what can I help you with? This, uh, like, how's your treasure hunt going? And, and the main character's like, well, Professor, I have a, I, 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 th I think I've got a crush on one of my classmates. And he's like, oh, you know, that's that's perfectly fine. You know, I'm sure whoever it is, they'll they'll um, return your feelings. And he's like, and the main character's like, I don't know, I don't know how to tell Clive that. And he's like, taking a sip of tea does a spit take. Play Persona 3 Reload? I have not. What's the comic called? I don't remember. Nope. Two more. Sorry. Apologies. God damn it. Put notifications on from Best Buy because I'm waiting for a uh, for that that graphics card for my new computer to come in, and it's just like, hey, you see this useless product you don't want or need that you didn't sign up for for getting notifications on? Well, we're sending it to you right now. Are links still allowed? Uh, there's a mod in chat, Corey. If you're still here, would you mind uh, would you mind permitting destroy a 93?
but I signed up for notifications for when the the um, Nvidia 4080 Super goes live uh, is back in stock, and they're just like, hey, I'm going to, but instead it's like, hey, here's something you don't need. Is it the right one? Yes, it is. Cannon. Nimona is Karlak's younger sister. Oh, that ended very abruptly. I want to listen to Undefeatable. Nope. Last one for the night. I bought another Wii. Common side effects of Lipitor. Catch of the night. Go. Ah, under Mr. Tristan, I'm gonna ask you a quick question. Reshiram, feathers or fur? Reshiram's a giant chicken. It's feathers. And nope, nope, not this time. 600 though. I'm gonna try to do these in batches of 100 or if I've got something else coming up or I just finished something that's like early on, then I'll do them in batches of 50. Till the end of May. All right. Uh, let's check fan art and then uh, I'll end the stream. an actual transition.
There's so many chicken. There's so many Pokemon that could just cook themselves because they're, they're, like, because <laughs> they're either like game animals or they're like uh, animals we'd like butcher, and they're fire type. We need a fire sheep. Mmm, delicious self-cooked lamb. Also, don't give me that look. I can do the same thing to myself. Look, Ignis. Ah! <laughs> All right, let me get the fan out loaded up. There's probably a bunch from disc only as well. Sure, we'll listen to this. Oh my god. Oh my god, St Steel! God, god damn it, dude! No! No! What's the one bit from, um, Adventure Time, where they're about to go to war, and Princess Bubblegum hands the notice over to, uh, or, uh, sorry, Lemon Grab hands the notice over to Princess Bubblegum and it says, Unmake Me? Alright, starting off with... One from Nerd Art and Games. Well, aren't you a cute little fella? I think I'll name you New Bubble. Uh, another one from Nerd Arts and Games saying, I see me and steal the same idea, kinda. There it is. The meatball, Tom. Good lord. Uh, from Jasper. Now's your chance to visit the big shot. There we go. Now's your chance to be a wizard. Visit the big shot. You see elements of cane throughout. There's the toothless cane in the background. The cane clip, the, the Spamton uh, glasses and skin tone. Oh boy. Lightning run, we got teeth pliers. There we <laughs> God damn. I hate that those are my eyes and mouth. Fuck you, Cyber City. WHAT HAVE YOU DONE?! Next up is Meatball Tom! And he made one other thing! There we go, he made this. Part. Wow, the worst part of that was when it went was when the was VLC went away and this was still here. <laughs> Alright, uh how about a little bit of a palette cleanser from Fairy Fruit? Shiny Quagsire with another hat. We got six hats now. One, two, three. Wait, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, six hats. Meatball jump scare. And then still bounce her with, uh, with new, uh, new Quagsires for every, like, 50. We got one with teeth and we got a meatball Quagsire. Good. Lord. I'm just as unhinged as any of you guys, so... I'm responsible for a lot of the unhinged stuff you guys create. <sighs> At any rate... Uh, that's gonna be it for the stream. Next one, I'm not sure. I'm going out tomorrow. Maybe Saturday? Possibly, it might be before I do d d Um, probably something on Sunday, because there's usually something on Sunday. Maybe Lethal Company on Monday or Tuesday? 
We shall see. We shall see. We shall see. You see? What should our raid message be? Of course it needs to be the meatball man. streaming yeah let's raid him we're gonna raid with the meatball man we're gonna raid Zito who is uh give him some love and give him some subs I'll see you guys here next time for more shit later